Hello everyone, and welcome to a spooky Halloween special. I'll be your host, Unlikely Hero. Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be playing Slender, which I know it's quite an old game, but when I first got into watching Let's Play videos, um, it was one of the main games that people were playing, so... At this point, it almost feels like a rite of passage. <laughs> Having said that, this game actually scares me quite a lot. So, enjoy. I always forget how long this intro is. Right. Here we go. I'm sure most people watching this do know the kind of concept of this game. Um, but just in case you don't, I've got to try and collect eight pages that are scattered around this map. And in the meantime, Slenderman will try and get me. The person in this game has to be one of the slowest walkers I've ever come across. Maybe I'll just sprint for a bit. He won't be after me yet as he doesn't come after you until you find the first notes. Well actually I think he does come after you if you take too long as well. But I think you have to take sort of like 10 minutes or something, and then he starts chasing you. So, I'm quite pleased that I've um, ended up at this building first, because it's actually one of the most dangerous places to look for a note. Um, because of the fact that um, the Slender Man is, when he's chasing you, he's always behind you. Um, having to turn around all these corners is quite dangerous once he's actually chasing you. Um, so it's best to go into this building first before he actually begins to chase you, because then you're less likely to encounter him. I also actually find this building one of the creepiest places in the game, not just because of um, the increased likelihood of encountering Slenderman, but also just because I find narrow corridors creepy. So this is the perfect horror location for me, obviously. I'm starting to think that there actually isn't a note in here today. So I guess the only thing to do is to head back out. I don't actually know what these cylinder things are. They're some sort of tanks, I think. But um, I don't like them because nine times out of ten, um, when I play this game, I've found a note in the building, so he started chasing me, and then I come out here and immediately encounter him. Although, a little different today because I don't have a note yet. which is actually kind of more disturbing. <laughs> oh, got stuck on a tank. Try and release the tension from my shoulders. <laughs> Yeah, at this rate, he's going to um, start chasing me before I've even found a note. <laughs> Which frightens me more, actually, because um, of the sound effects that cut in when he starts chasing you. And, like, at least if I pick up a note, I know the sounds are coming. Whereas if I just take too long, that's scary. Is that a note? I tried to, like, physically lean around the tree just then, which isn't helpful. So, 
He will be after me now. Oh no, it's the fence. I've got a terrible track record for um, just running straight into the fence and just staying there until he gets me because I get too frightened to continue. But I promise I'll try not to do that for you guys. I'll I'll try and be brave. <laughs> I thought I heard the static then, but it was actually just my laptop making a whirring noise. Oh no, I think I'm walking straight towards him. Let's just run in this direction for a while. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Why is it always the fence? You know, I'm just out here for my nice nighttime stroll in the dark forest. And he's just trying to get involved in this. Okay, I'm actually certain I'm walking towards him right now. <clears throat> it's difficult with the mist, though. Um, like, some patches of the mist are thicker than others. And it's hard to tell sometimes if the statics appearing, which means that you're walking towards him, or if it is just the mist. You know, I don't think I've ever actually made my way to this landmark before, so that's an achievement in and of itself, so I'm pleased about this. <laughs> right. Leave me alone. Yeah, leave me alone. I just saw some static as well, so getting a bit on edge now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> There's just something about um, the idea that you shouldn't turn around. Like, it's, it scares me because you're tempted to turn, and I'm going to have to turn around because I'm coming to the fence, which is. Ah, oh, it's fine. <laughs> but um, you're kind of always tempted to look behind you and check if he's there, or at least I am. I think it's worse because you know that you shouldn't. Like, he gets closer to you if you see him. Also, I think, um... The torch... Um... Works really well for making it creepier. Is that the tunnel? Oh, I hate the tunnel. He's probably going to be right at the end of this. Like, I'll get to the end and see him. Or I'll turn out the end of it and he'll be there. This is all completely fine. I don't think there's even a note in here either. Like, are there actually any notes in this game at all? Or is it just screwing me over today? No notes for me. But yeah, what I was saying about the torch. Um, the fact that the torch um, only lights up a small section of your screen and everything outside that is kind of darkened and like not visible to you, like that makes it a lot creepier. Well, to be fair, I find it scary, like, walking around with a torch in real life, so it might just be me. Is that the building again? Oh. <laughs> I haven't even, like, actually seen him yet, and I'm really on edge. <laughs> like, my hands are shaking a little bit, my knees are weak. <laughs> I said in one of my previous videos, um, I think it must have been The Night That Speaks, I talk more when I'm on edge. And I would say that's probably the case in this video too. But equally, because it's quite a repetitive game, I don't have a huge amount to say. Except that there is a note over there, so that's good. I don't think I want to run towards it though, because what if he's like secretly behind the tree? It follows. Yes, he does. And now the music's creepy. I swear my torch is getting darker already as well. I don't want to, but um, I think if I pulled the blind in the room, I would be able to see the screen better. But then my room would be dark and I would be more frightened, which I know is kind of the point in a horror game, but I'm a coward, so we'll just have to deal with it. Also, I'm right against the fence, so I'm going to have to turn around. <sighs> okay. 
Just do it. I'll I'll fight him. I'll meet him in the pit. I'm really shocked that I haven't seen him yet. I feel like he's messing with me. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, um, the torch gradually... I think I'm walking towards him. Oh no, maybe not. Um, the torch gradually runs out of power throughout the game. And um, so the light from it gets more dim. So it can get harder to see. <laughs> I think also when your torch goes out, he finds you quicker. But I'm not 100% sure on that. Yeah, I can't see much at all at this point. It's fine. Maybe if I can't see him, it'll be less scary. <laughs> oh, I'm back at the tunnel. He'll definitely be at the end of it this time. Like, I'm so screwed. There's definitely no note in here, though. Oh, it's so dark. I need to not panic and sprint. I'll just, I'll just be chill. Super chill. I've never been so chill in my entire life. Oh my god. I think my torch has completely gone out. <laughs> I can't see anything now. Or did I just accidentally turn it off? That's possible. Um, no, I think it's run out. Okay, I may as well just accept my fate. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I didn't even see where he was. <laughs> I mean, funnily enough, due to just not having a torch now, I, I can't see him. This is fine. This is I, I can still find notes like this. I'll follow the light of the moon or something. That will work. Oh, I'm definitely walking towards him. Or he's just really close behind me. I actually genuinely can't decide if, um, now that the torch has gone out and I really can't see much at all, I can just about see the outlines of the trees and things. I can't decide if this is more or less scary. I think it is just scary in a different kind of way. And I haven't really decided if it's better or worse at the moment, so... Oh no. I keep coming back to the tunnel, like, what is it about the tunnel that just draws me here? Oh no. Yeah, I've taken too long because now another one of the audio cues has come in, so he's more aggressive now. <laughs> I'm finding it hard to- hey, there's a note there! Cool! Oh no! <laughs> He was just like right there as I took the note and I couldn't see him because of the torch being out. <laughs> okay, attempt number two. <laughs> I've pulled the blind in my room now, so um, I think I can see better. Obviously right now I can see better because of the fact that I actually have the torch again. I'm gonna try and head towards the building again. I would always like that to be the first um, landmark that I come to. Okay, the stones are there. That is not what I want. <laughs> oh, there's the cylinders, so the house must be nearby. I have also been reliably informed that sometimes there is a note on the outside of the building, which I didn't realise. So it could have been that the entire time there was a note outside the building and I just missed it. Um, so I will, um, I will actually check that this time. But I'll go inside first, because as I said, that's the more dangerous place to check. There we go. Right, so he's after me now. Which does mean that walking around the perimeter of the building isn't going to be that great an idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'd rather do it early on in the game rather than later. <laughs> I'm going to try and do it without turning around too much. So I'll try and like crab walk around the sides of the building. So it is looking like there isn't going to be a note on the outside. That's fine. 
He can't run. I think you'll find I can a little bit. So there was the stones, which I think were in a general kind of this way direction. Hopefully I can find them again because I didn't really like um, the fact that I found a landmark and then walked away from it. But I just wanted the building to be the first one I did for safety reasons. Really? Oh, there we go. Oh, there's a note on them and everything. Don't look or it takes you. Yeah, that's what I was on about earlier when I said that you get tempted to turn around, but you shouldn't because if you look at him, he comes after you quicker. I don't really want to wander around the edges of this, but I know I have to. And also, this is where I was caught last time. Oh, no. Where is he? Oh, hi. Uh, let's just uh, run this way. <laughs> yeah, there's no no note on the uh, red cylinder. Oh, God, back at the cylinders. Oh, save me. I think I'm heading towards him. I saw a flicker, but it might have just been the mist. Oh, no, I'm walking towards him. Bye. Yeah, one of the reasons that I do the building first is there's nothing scarier in this game, in my opinion, than being in the building and turning a corner and just coming face to face with him, which is completely feasible because of it being such a narrow space. And combined with me not liking narrow spaces anyway, it just makes it really quite frightening. So I prefer to just completely avoid the situation. This is a jolly little stroll we're having in the woods at night. Maybe the Slender Man just wants to join me for my nightly stroll. I mean, maybe that's all he wants. I mean, he could just ask. Is that the big tree? I might have actually just achieved something. Unless there's no note here. <laughs> the um, creators of this game knew what they were doing when they put in so many round landmarks. Because it's terrible having to walk around it because... There's not a note on it, is there? I'm facing him. Um. <laughs> yeah, there's no note. And the music's got more intense, so he's gotten more aggressive. Just, you know, gonna lean away from the screen a little bit in fear. But yeah, I mean, aside from being quite a scary game to play, like, you do feel on edge, like, constantly. Um, my torch has gone out again. Um, you do feel on edge constantly, knowing that he's kind of always behind you and if you turn around there's a risk of him just being there. Um, it's also just really genuinely quite a difficult game because there's no map, like you don't have anything to guide you to the landmarks. Um, so you do kind of just have to learn where they are in relation to each other. Oh no! <laughs> He was too fast. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he just, um, he was behind me then and he just walked up and just got me. Like, it wasn't even that I turned to face him then. He was just, I took too long. He was too fast. Right. This is probably going to have to be my last attempt. <laughs> Don't want to let my adrenaline get too high. <laughs> I make myself too anxious if I do that, so. Although, I never thought I would say this, but it's not that I'm not enjoying the game. I mean, this game used to, like, utterly terrify me to the point that I just couldn't play it properly. Um, but, I don't know, I am actually enjoying it a reasonable amount. And, um, somehow kind of, like, Having to talk about it while I'm playing it makes it a bit easier. I can't believe I found the tree first, though. I don't really want to take that note because I want to go in the building first. Yeah, I'm going to try and head to the building. This might not be the best idea, but... Literally, just before I started recording this bit of the video, I was saying to my sister how I could never find the tree and I hadn't found either of the cars or the little outhouse building. And now that I've said that, lo and behold, look what I found. <laughs> to be honest, if there are notes on these, I am probably just going to take them. Um, and then I'll go back and get the one on the tree because, um, yeah, there's a note here. Right, okay. Looks like we're not going to the building first, which is um, not really my idea of fun. But I'll try and head back to that tree. So... 
think if I head this way. I'm really sorry if the sound of my laptop fan is getting picked up on the microphone. It is basically screaming at me at the moment. Um, <laughs> but there's not much I can do about that. Hey, that's the tree. I almost walked straight past it. <laughs> I was so busy talking to you guys. I'm sure there's static already. Right. I just can't think where the um, building and everything that I was kind of seeing in my last video, um, the last part of this video, um, would be like in relation to that tree. Um, not going to lie, if I do find my way to the building, I am going to be a complete coward and I am not going in it. <laughs> if I somehow get to seven notes which is probably not going to happen. It's really unlikely. If I somehow get to seven notes and haven't checked the building, I will go in the building because at that point, the last note is going to be in the building. I just saw some static. I'm walking straight towards him. I'm still walking towards him. <laughs> Why was he in front of me? What's he playing at? But yeah, so I will only go into the building now if I have all the other notes and it's the last place it can possibly be. So... Yeah, no building for us. Oh. The creepy music has done has cut in, so I'm taking too long again. <laughs> I think I'm He's either right behind me or in front of me and I'm Oh no. I'm not sure where he was then, to be honest, so I'm just going to head this way. Yeah, I've already been here. So I'm going to head over here. Oh, that's the tunnel. I mean, it is kind of the last landmark I want to see right now, but um, it's still a landmark, so... I'll try and take it as a positive, even though it is my least favourite. Um, aside from the building, it's my least favourite landmark. Oh, there's a note on it. Oh, it's that weird um, set of walls that are randomly built in um, 90 degree angles for like no reason whatsoever. He's probably going to get me after this because I'm going to have to turn. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I think um, I think I've said this about most of the games I've been playing for these Halloween specials, but again, the use of sound in this game is like I, I think it's really impressive. Like, I mean, yes, it really frightens me, but because of that, I um, I'm impressed by it and think that it really does a good job of um, gradually increasing the spookiness of the atmosphere. I mean, the fact that there's a sound that, you know, starts up when he first begins following you. Um, I mean, that, even just that, if that was the only sound that happened in the game, that would be scary. But the fact that you then get all these, like, discordant little bits of music and other sound effects and things gradually building up throughout the game, like, that is really... It does get really creepy after a while, because you suddenly notice that another sound has come in and you know that you've taken too long and he's going to be getting more aggressive and... Um, hey, it's the stones. Oh, and there's a note on them. Yes. I feel like slightly manic and hysterical, to be quite honest. Okay, so we've got the whooshing kind of windy sound come in now. Um, five notes. He's going to be pretty aggressive at this point. Um, not really counting my chances of getting any more notes, but I will persevere. We'll see how this goes. Final attempt. Got to make it a good one. Although, actually, having said that, it's already a better attempt than last time. 
because despite the initial difficulties, I've somehow got five notes, which I think is the most I've ever got playing this game, so I'm quite pleased. Even if I don't complete the game, like, I've come so much further than I've ever done previously. I am concerned though, because I know that when he gets more aggressive, there comes a point where he actually will just teleport in front of you, and that will frighten me, so I'm hoping that he isn't that aggressive yet. <laughs> oh no, he's going to be like right there because I'm going to have to turn because of the fence. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. He, um, he was either right behind me or he was just to the right of me, um, because there was no real warning to that. There was no sudden kind of, oh, he's there sort of thing. Um, no chance to run away. Oh. But yeah, like I said, I think that was a pretty good final attempt. I've never got five notes before, um... I did think that was going to be an awful last attempt because it did start off pretty badly, to be honest. But yeah, I'm pleased with the um, um, kind of progress I made with that game. Like I said, best I've ever done. And I hope you enjoyed watching it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.